Greetings and salutations. I'm excited because we're looking at two episodes from Sliders. In this case, we're looking at the episodes The Young and the Relentless and the episode Invasion, Invasion. No, it's just one word, Invasion, but you know. But we're going to talk about the first episode, which is The Young and the Relentless. And what actually happened in this episode? Well, in this episode, basically, uh, the crew slide into a world where base they slide into a world where young folks are basically like in charge of everything, and anyone past the age of thirty is, you know, basically they're like said like, "Hey, you're no longer needed," kind of deal. And I'm just and I'm and it's a good thing this didn't exist because. I'm 31, I'd be most definitely fucked. Heck, heck, in, heck, in this, heck in this episode, they have, like, a, like, a, one of the, who, one of the people that was, uh, Atiyah's students in their world, he's a judge. And, like, you know, like, say, what, like, young 30-year-olds, like, say, you'd think, like, young 20-year-olds or 28-year-olds, you'd think, like, hmm, huh, would they be a good, um... Judge, it appears not. So as and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, like say, the uh, like the whole like subplot. I recently I talked about in the past episode when I was talking about sliders was like, man, I wanted an episode where, uh, Wade is like say in an alternate reality. Well, in this, a uh, world, there's alternate uh Quins and there's alternate Wades. Because it's this time for Wade to get to be the antagonist of an episode. Freaking finally! So we have... So basically, uh, in this world, uh, her and Wade are... Her and... Quinn and Wade are trying to make it so that the education uh, system is better. But in a way, it's just not great in their world. Because they're having ideas, like, with... The edge you learn, which is basically Quinn's idea, or was it Wade's idea? To for a new education. Let's see how it goes in the stock room. Educational? It's an ad for soft drinks. That's not edu. I'm going to agree with Quinn on this. That's not education. That's marketing. So yeah, as the, as the episode goes on, um, Quinn and Wade and the rest of them are all trying to. Anyway, get out of there. Um, and, and it gets a bit crazier because the side plot is Professor and Rembrandt are have been uh, are in trouble because they get into what are uh, wanting beer. Here, here you can have a beer. <laughs> so there is, and as the episode goes on, um. Their uh, defender Tiffany is basically like say, like, say, are like yelling at him for being old and all that. Actually, one thing that makes me I really like this episode mostly because we get the chance to see an evil Wade. I mean, we, or like say you know, a vindic. Except like, there's even a moment where uh, she has a older gentleman basically being in charge of her company. And then he goes like say, "Nope, times have changed." And then she pull, and then she pulls out a gun. And it gets, and it gets a bit more heated. But I mean, overall, I feel like say, "The Young and the Runless" is a good episode. I kind of like it. It's absolutely bonkers. Let's just hope uh, Vic Ramaswamy uh, doesn't uh, get into this debate and doesn't win, because if we are. He's gonna change the legal, the ways to age to, you know, younger folks like say, 20 year olds, they're not gonna be able to vote. So, yeah, don't vote for uh, Vic Ramaswamy. <music> Getting to the episode Invasion. Basically, what happens in this episode, they arrive into a world where aliens have. Are invading, known as the Crow Mags. If you 
Did you're a hero, Mr. Mallory. This is an invading soldier, don't forget. Basically, they are um, a group that have gone through other sliding worlds to try to They can try to basically be the dominant group. And but one of the things that makes this absolutely it's great is some of the acting is just absolutely goofy. Like the first group that they meet in the world is like saying, I wouldn't be out there too late because they like like the highballs. Killers. And they eat eyes. Human eyes. They came here to vanquish us, riding a wave of mantiships to our world. And so, our Earth dies screaming. I thought you said they didn't come from space. No. They're from right here, man. They're from right here. That's the irony, don't you see? When I was watching this, it was like saying, oh, my mind, in fact, my mind was like saying, oh, oh. Because it was just feeding me so much goofy vibes. And, uh... Like, say, some of, like, like, then they slide into a world that was, uh, New France, where, uh, France is basically the entire group, uh, of where France is basically the peak country, in a way, or something like that. And eventually the aliens, they come through that portal and- Surprise, motherfucker! And decide to say, and then they take the group and try to get them to give them secrets about the their sliding technology. And uh, as the episode goes on, it has some like you know like say suspense, like say Wade in the chair, like as she's being questioned and all that. But as we go on, we uh, realize that a character named Mary. Who they're, who's basically trying to help them out is actually who we actually sometimes are like say oh no don't worry the be don't like don't let Mary have anything to happen to Mary you have done well Mary you may have an hour of freedom in the garden before you go back to your cage She was working with the alias the entire time. I mean, overall, two good episodes of Sliders. Two very good episodes, uh, very entertaining episodes of Sliders. I'll see you next time.